The intelligence agencies seem even more confident that Russia was behind this hack. What do we know from this event? Well, you're right. They said that they have uh, the, the three spy chiefs who met up on the Hill today said they have more confidence than they did in October when they first released a report saying Russia was behind it, that that, in fact, was the case. And uh, they pushed back quite a bit against some of the criticism, the public criticism they've received by Donald Trump, uh, who said earlier this week that uh, a briefing had been delayed and that he thought it was because they had to still build their case. The spy chiefs up on the Hill today made clear they think they have a very solid case. They're going to be up in New York presenting that case to the president-elect tomorrow. And just talking of perhaps Trump's pushback, he took to Twitter once again his favorite form of discussion. And he's talking actually about his association potentially with Julian Assange, saying he's denying that he's in agreement with Julian Assange, but saying that he's a big fan of intelligence. We're seeing the tweet right now on our screens. And what about this so-called unhelpful criticism? They, they didn't feel it was going in their way, but they weren't too critical of Donald Trump as they could have been. Right. I mean, uh, these, these guys all speak in a, in a very nuanced tone, and they didn't single out Trump or his uh, criticism directly. They did say that, you know, public, public criticism of their work isn't helpful, it's not good for morale. Um, I think it's something they'd prefer, you know, they'd prefer happen maybe behind the scenes. These are by nature very skeptical people. Uh, the intelligence community, uh, spies, they are, they're skeptical by nature. They ask a lot of questions. So they're accustomed to that. I don't think they're accustomed to being put uh, in the public eye front and center. Uh, we've never really seen a, a time in the past when an incoming president so uh, blatantly and publicly question their work before he takes office. Remember, you know, there's a whole range of issues that the president-elect, uh, when he takes office, will have to count on the intelligence agencies for, whether it's the latest assessments of Islamic State to China's moves in the South China Sea. Um, yeah. These, Without that kind of information, a president is essentially flying blind. Kick it forward to tomorrow for us, because there is the briefing that will occur with President-elect Donald Trump. Well, the head of uh, the director of national intelligence, James Clapper, was asked if he's ready for a spirited discussion um, with with President-elect Trump, and he said he is absolutely, and that he welcomes it. Um, again, I think they're used to used to tough questioning. What we've heard from the president-elect's team is that they want to see more raw data on on the intelligence and these findings, and they want to see a little bit less analysis. There's some concern on the Trump team that. The intelligence community has been politicized in the last decade or so. They just want to see the data, and they want to be able to draw their own conclusions from that. We'll be across that story tomorrow, as will you. Bill Ferries, Bloomberg reporter, thank you very much indeed.